The humble, friendly CAT scan mouse plays an important feature in the use of manipulating the software. The mouse consists of a left click button, a right click button, a center scrolling wheel which can be scrolled up or down or can be pressed down as well. Also the mouse keys can be held down simultaneously or in conjunction with the scroll wheel. Of course you have different styles of, of mice that can be applied as well. Let's start by manipulating the 3D image with the mouse functions first. So we can launch the 3D by itself, double left click, or press the 3D icon. If you hold the left click of the mouse, you're gonna get a rotation symbol. When you rotate, you can see the orientation box moving with it. And here I'm just simply moving it right or left, up and down, wherever, wherever we can move, that is the rotation with a curved arrow. To zoom the image, simply press down on the center wheel. Don't scroll it, just move the mouse north for magnifying, and then move it back down south for basically panning or zooming out, okay? So it's a um, resizing in the middle, pressing the middle wheel down and moving the mouse north and south. Now for recentering, one can press the right click on the mouse, notice the white caliper, when the mouse is moved, you get the blue crosshairs come into play. Okay, so you can recenter with the right click. The right click also serves as a pop-up menu. If one wishes not to use the pop-up menu, just hold the right click down, wait for the right caliper, and then move and recenter, repan your position. Again, the pan is performed with the right click of the mouse. Now moving over to the CT images, again axial, coronal, and sagittal screens. If we use the left click of the mouse now, I'm going to double left click to launch it in single mode. If we use our left click and move the mouse down or up, we are changing the slices. And one can slice the different images by just left clicking it. Um, if you want to resize it, again, one can simply press down the middle wheel, resize your image using the zoom magnifier. And the pan is the same, right click it, and you can recenter. Remember, your reset button takes you back to the original position. Or you have your icons that can load up the particular screen that you wish, as we had seen in another section. There is a fast and a slow way to slice. First of all, the slow way to slice is to just click the middle wheel on the trackball. Okay. Now, if one wishes to know which direction to go, just double click it. And when you scroll the middle wheel, you can use the other screens to tell you which direction you are moving it in. That's using just the middle wheel scrolling. If one wants to go a lot faster, you can hold the left click of the mouse and slice through. The other method of doing that is holding the middle wheel and the right click. That too is another alternate method of quickly slicing through the multiple slices. Another feature of the mouse is to use the window level. Again, if we launch to a single screen, by holding the right and the left click of the mouse together, you can see here in the corner in the black background uh, a symbol W over L meaning window level. If you hold simultaneously and move to either corner, whether it's the lower southwest corner for a full screen, full tissue mode, or if you move up to the right hand corner where you gradually take away soft tissue and just leave the um, bony elements. And to redo that, I just release the right and left click and I'll re-engage it back here in the southwest corner and continue up back up to the northeast corner and this gets away the, the softer bony and just leaves the hardy elements, okay? So that way uh, you can uh, adjust with the window level holding the right and left click mouse together. Same thing for the CT screen. If you uh, want to adjust the window level, it's very important to make sure that you have the proper window level. Hold the right left click mouse together and fill in more of the um, lower level tissue, softer tissue coming into the southwest or going up to the northeast corner, you can remove some of the softer tissue. Make sure, though, you have your um, softer level of window level to the point where you can kind of see the soft tissue coming in to make sure you're not missing anything here, okay? 
Now one is not limited to just using the mouse functions to perform the functions that we have just completed. For instance, let's compare and contrast. If we go into these particular icons, th notice this one is a, um, it's called window level. If we click on it, it tells us what it is, window level. We know from using our mouse that the right and the left click is a window level. However, if we click on this icon for window level, the left click of the mouse now is dedicated for the function of window level. Okay, so we've dedicated the left click of the mouse for that by clicking this icon. This next one is pan. Okay, you know it as the right click of the mouse, or since this is selected, well, the left click of the mouse is now active for that feature. Zoom. Okay, middle wheel and a trackball, or once this icon is activated, the left click of the mouse becomes that feature. And back to the original, the rotate is only active with the 3D, okay, but that's the default setting. The uh, left click of the mouse rotates on 3D. Left click on the mouse for CT is a slice. That's the difference. One other item here in terms of uh, adjusting the mouse and window level, you can right click it, it pops up a menu, and again, these items here, these first four icons, really correspond as well to these icons. So if one w wants to choose it with the right click of the mouse, or going to these particular icons, it's all one's preference. But these, again, will dedicate the left click of the mouse to these functions, the same as up here. Or we can use independently the mouse for uh, the functions that we have just gone over. Please review these. Play with your mouse a little bit. Get used to it. Once you get really familiar and comfortable with your mouse, then uh, it's kind of like second nature when you go to the other features of the software.